All right, so for those who watched yesterday's ab workout video, hopefully my head is completely in the screen this time for one. And two, all my ab workouts are kind of just keep on moving. Uh, you can stick on an exercise. For a while, if you feel comfortable doing that exercise and you like that exercise, keep repeating it. It's more about just working your core constantly and keeping that time under tension. Um, I try to give plenty of options uh, and variations. And with this one, I'm gonna be doing the opposite side. Uh, so I'm gonna be up in a push-up position. So definitely shoulders, chest is all gonna get worked as well. But um, you can put your hands up on a bench if you need to and do the entire thing from there. That's fine. It's your workout. Do you. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. So, most important thing, never have that slant. Always vertical with the arms, shoulders over wrist. I like to put my elbow pits forward as much as possible. Creates external torque and kind of locks those shoulders in. Chest is never caving in. It's always up towards the sky or the ceiling. All right. I'm gonna bring left knee, left elbow, and hold. Back out, crunch it in. Remember, you can be hands up on a bench if you need to. From here, I can either tick tock, hold, I can drop down, bring it back up, or I can bring it all the way out to the side. Whew. That one really hurts. All right, let's try to do that on the other side. So, right, hold a little bit. Three. I think I did for another arm, I'm not sure. Maybe a little tick tock, maybe drop it, or bring it on up. Oh. All right. Oh. And we're back. Sweet. Now let's bring it in. So knees are right underneath the hip, if you can see that. I'm already starting to slant back, so I'm gonna shift forward a little bit. Really engage the core. Do it just the left leg. This is the right leg. So you can be in the plank position right now, uh, doing leg lifts. That's completely fine. Pretty much the same thing. This one just shortens the lever arm, which means it's gonna put more on your core. Now from here, you can be back here, reaching here, maybe you reach there. Maybe you just rock back and rock forward. Maybe you rock right here. Or if you're in this position, reach for the bottom of the foot. Now, as I reach, whew, I'm getting grass everywhere. I'm trying not to shift all my weight, dump it over. I want to stay nice and square. There's a lock between these two opposite sides. Just stay stable. You go nice and slow. You're really going to feel it. Whew. Or you can go a little bit faster if you like. All right. From here, I'm going to take it back out. Oh, and push a position, drop down to forearms. Woo! Get a little break for the shoulders there, and then the seesaw motion. So, I'm gonna let the shoulders come over the elbow, behind the elbow. And how I'm doing that is I'm rocking up on my toes. Back and forth. Good. To the side. Now, side planks can be done, knee on the ground, both legs snapped on top of each other. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The most important part is we keep that hip high and keep our chest square. So we don't want to be hunched over. We don't want to be slouched down. That keeps us engaged right here. From here, a lot of variations as well. You can take it all the way up onto the hand. Woo. Or, and or, you can bring the leg up, place it somewhere inside the thigh. You can hang it out up here. You can kick it. We're just going to hold. I like this style. Whew. I like, really think about getting that hip up, up. Whew. I have no idea how long the hold was. So you don't have to stare at my butt. Even though some of you might, I don't know what you're into. I'm going to turn this way. Yeah. Whew. Beautiful day. Birds are chirping outside. Getting it in. That's what it's all about. I love it. I love it. Let's bring it back to push up position. All right. Whew. At any point, you can drop out. Shake your arms out. That's fine. Remember, this is your workout. Nobody else's. All right. Nice wide base here. 
now, and then tap, hold. Yeah, tap, hold. Good. Tap, hold. Tap, hold. Tap, hold. Tap, hold. Good. Reach, reach, reach. You might still be tapping the shoulders if you can't reach. Maybe you can tap anywhere along the path. That is always your choice. So bring the knees back here. Now, so for this one, you can stay with all those options before, or take the foot, spin up on the ball of the toe, keep that active, rotate through all the way over. So from here, really active. I'm keeping my shoulders over my wrists, keeping my shoulders down away from my ears. I'm keeping that lower back. Whew. Nice and tight, course is tight. And I'm going to go in the reverse direction. So lift the right, slip it through. I'm going to keep that leg nice and low. That's how I like it. And then other side. So ball of the foot, shin drags across the ground. And boom, checking the position. Shoulders are proud away from the ears, over the wrists. Try to keep that tummy tucked back through. Let's go a little fast. I'm gonna barely tap. I'm trying to keep that up. Maybe you're back still doing toe taps. That is fine. Alright. That's everywhere today. Let's get into a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go opposite knee, opposite elbow. Nice and quick. I like to call these cyclones. shoulders on fire so I'd probably stop there for a bit come back repeat it again for a couple more times uh, you can try one of the variations you can do the whole thing that's really your choice but have fun with it and have a great day hope day